It's been many years, but Keeper RL remains my go-to game for scratching that Dungeon Keeper itch. It used to be the case that necromancy wasn't a true part of the game, and had to be modded in, but for quite some time now a fully fledged necromancy faction has been available. This gameplay is from the version 1.0 branch and has a number of new additions. Most of these are good, like the magma forge which can be built near lava to create fine versions of metal equipment. Some of these are bad, like the incessant hooting of owls at night which cannot be disabled. Between the endless hooting and the occasional death moan of a creature that's abnormally loud when compared to the other noises in the game, your eardrums copper beating. You start out as a baby necromancer boy or girl with four zombies. Your zombie is mostly useful for labour, but can also serve as cheap soldiers if necessary. Their main drawback is their slowness and extreme vulnerability to sunlight. Zombies love to venture out far during the night to gather wood or do whatever other tasks you've set for them only to be caught by the sunlight before they can make it back to safety. Corpses are hard to come by, especially early on, meaning that if you're not micromanaging them, you'll bleed zombies daily, and over time it will become very expensive for you. As such, I recommend forbidding zombies from going outside at all, and harvesting subterranean trees for wood instead. The poor zombies also suffer from extreme clumsiness and love to fall into water or lava and die so you'll want to keep them away from those sources of misfortune as well. Keeping them alive is honestly quite challenging early on. Eventually you'll be able to craft upgrades for your minions that grant a myriad of enhancements. Among these is a permanent darkness balsam, which bestows a cloud of darkness upon a minion. This will stop your zombies and vampires from perishing in the sunlight. Combine this with a balsam of levitation, and your zombies will no longer be killing themselves in sunlight, water, and lava. It's at this point I can finally breathe a sigh of relief and stop worrying about my silly zombies. Skeletons make a decent fighting force early on, and skeleton wolves prowl around at night killing wildlife. Later they serve as mounts for your skeletons to ride on. You'll want to replace your skeleton legions with vampires as soon as possible though, for they're much stronger and skeletons are no match for tougher foes. Vampire nobles are mages that can assist for alchemy and necromancy. They've got a useful repertoire of spells, mostly buffs and debuffs, that work really well when combined with skeleton or vampire warriors. On their own, the vampire nobles seem pretty vulnerable. Ultimately what you should be striving for is the skeleton king or zombie king. These are massive minions that can be upgraded with up to 199 body parts. Body parts are accumulated from carnage throughout the course of the game. It's worthwhile to hold off until you have reached the maximum amount possible because it will result in an unstoppable minion. Once you have this minion, it should be possible to stomp all enemies. For 500 gold, a phylactery can be crafted. Any minion can be bound to a phylactery, and if it dies, it will respawn. It is extremely important to have your keeper bound to a phylactery, but also your skeleton king or zombie king, because they're irreplaceable. Keeper Aurel's necromancy faction is honestly very satisfying to play. I especially like how certain powerful enemies, like dragons, can be reanimated as undead dragons and used as mounts. Few games offer such beautiful opportunities to humiliate enemies like this. You're taking a rival, killing them, and then riding them around. I'm scoring Keeper RL's Necromancy Faction a 9.75 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. It would be a 10 out of 10 if the zombie AI wasn't so frustratingly dumb at times. I hope this video has been informative. I've got more videos on necromancy stuff coming soon. By the way, I've not been speaking the entire time. It's been AI, could you tell?